To solve this equation, what I want to do is get rid of that negative x or the negative exponent. So to do that, what I'm going to do is multiply by e to the x on the left side of the equal sign and also e to the x on the right side of the equal sign. Once I take that e to the x, multiply into the parentheses, we get e to the x times e to the x minus 12 times e to the x times e to the negative x. And notice that e to the negative x is that e to the negative x minus e to the x times 1 is equal to e to the x times 0. Next, if we combine e to the x times e to the x, that same thing as e to the x plus x, we're just adding the exponents. And then, of course, we have the x minus x, so we have e to the x minus x. Again, we add the exponents. And then e to the x times 1 is, of course, e to the x. And on the right side, it's just going to be 0. Then x plus x is 2 to the x, or 2x. And then x minus x is 0 power. And we still have that e to the x. Next, we have e to the 2x in the front. And what I decided to do was put that negative e to the x here in the middle position. And e to the 0 is 1. So I decided to put the 12 in the third position. Next, we are going to be factoring this. And to factor this, I'm going to be using a little substitution. So let's let a is equal to e to the x. Then we now have a squared minus a minus 12 equals to 0. And if we were to go ahead and factor this equation here, then we get a minus 4 times a plus 3 equals to 0, where a equals to 4, or a equals to negative 3. Now it's time to go back and plug in the e to the x for the a value that we have. So we have e to the x equals 4, and e to the x equals negative 3. Remember, whenever you have an exponential function, e to the anything power can never be a negative value. So this one we're going to ignore. We're going to focus on this. To find the x value, what we could do is we could take the natural log of left and the right side, where the natural log and the e will cancel out, and we're left with only x on the left side, and we're, we now have our answer, natural log of 4. And if you put natural log of 4 in the calculator, it's going to equal to 1.39, rounded off to two decimal places.